Hello, my beautiful people of God. How are you all doing today? I know that God has been faithful to everyone. Yeah, our God is ever faithful. That's why we're still alive in the land of the living, despite the ups and downs. We thank God and we must continue to thank him all the days of our life because he's worthy of our praise. Hallelujah. In this place, we share things that has to do with the body of Christ. If you're a child of God, this is your channel because in this place, you get to get authentic information of the happening in the body of Christ. And if you are not a child of God, you are coming across this video for the first time or this channel for the first time. It is very simple. Give your life to Christ. Open your heart. He's your Lord and Savior. He died for you. Just the way he died for everyone in the world. And his purpose of dying for you so that we can be reconciled back to God. So please give your life to Christ, okay? And God Almighty will bless you for doing that. Thank you. So I want to share this particular important thing that I saw on social media that has to do with the body of Christ. Now, this happened in Dunamis. Dunamis is a ministry that is founded by Pastor Paul in Ninche. And they are based in Abuja, though they have their branches in some, so many states in Nigeria and outside Nigeria. So, but in this video, they are having a program. And you, when you watch, you will see that it's a massive program because there are many people in that congregation. And it was a time for testimony. Lo and behold, they brought a lady up and she started her testimony. And what we saw is that Pastor Paul Enenche intercepted her. I want you to watch because I'm coming back to say the rest of the things that made me to say I must make this video. I must say something that can help us as the body of Christ. Watch. So your name and what God did for you. Praise the Lord! Above all I want to appreciate God for my life and my family. And I want to Thank God for using mommy and daddy for our sake. It all happened that uh, I was trying to school in uh, National Open University. Before I came to this dunamis, there's a lot of things that is happening in my life and my family. From my father's side and my mother's side, nobody is a graduate. They will only end up primary or secondary school. Praise the Lord. But when God remembered me, I got a job and I was I was working and I decided to follow my education. I started the school. I want to do law, law uh, program. I started 20, uh, 2014. So I continue like that. And I want to thank God because during that time, I never lacked of money to pay my school fees. Praise the Lord. I keep going to the extent I go to 500 level and challenges everywhere. Problems, sickness, they afflict me with leg pain, and I cannot be able to finish. My men are finished. So the long uh, program is six years. So since I cannot be able to meet up, some of my men finish, and uh, I keep on like that. And uh, yesterday, God let me. Well, she said that embargo was there in the course of her program. In the course of her program, she was afflicted. And it looked as though she wasn't able to, or she isn't going to finish that program, but God helped her. Yesterday, she graduated, like she said, the first person to, to back a degree, a degree in her family. Degree in what? In what law? What program? What's it, what's it called? What's the name of the degree that medicine is MBBS? <laughs> give, her, give her the mic. What kind of degree is it? My medicine is MBBA. BSC, sir. BSC in law, sir. So the, the testimony is a lie. There is nothing like BSC in law. law you don't have LLB. 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 It's a lie. The testimony is a lie. Please go back to your seat. <laughs> BSC law. Is that how lawyers speak English? Please. Please, anybody who comes to this altar to share a testimony that is not true, you do it at the risk of yourself. 
at the risk of yourself. We are not playing here. We are not faking anything here. I need my when she started that testimony, she talking, Lord, I need my people. Do you see that? Number one thing I want to say here is that we, the church of God, we must have to be very much at alert. We are in the last days. You see, we can do better. People of God, we can do better. Some churches are getting it right now because this kind of thing didn't start today. It didn't start today. In a situation where someone we we come to to uh, to the podium to say I have a testimony and he will begin to say things that can cause katakata inside the church. You see, because of that, so many churches now has mapper strategies, selected people that knows what to do and how to do it. That will first and foremost listen to your testimony. Initially, when they started that. Many people did never like it. They said they want to share their testimony to the whole congregation and somebody, some group of persons are asking them to tell them what they want to testify. They feel somehow it's because of things like this that, that they are doing that now in so many churches that before you can come out to give testimony, they will get every information concerning that testimony and they will tell you that you must not exceed what you have shared with them here. If you want to try, they will take the microphone from you. You see, we really need to be careful because it doesn't matter how anointed you are, how good that church is. Satan can enter. Because in the book of Job chapter uh, 2, when you read the verse 1 and 2 there, you will see the account of Job, account of Jesus, and even the Satan himself. The angels, they gathered to have a meeting with the Lord. And lo and behold, Satan was there. You can imagine, the Lord himself, the Lamb of God, was there. He was the one to preside over that meeting that day. But the devil himself, Satan, was there. But thank God that the Lord himself, the one that created eyes, saw him and asked him, where are you going to? Why are you here? They are not supposed to be here. Let us do better, my people. Don't just bring somebody to the podium or to the, uh, you know, uh, uh, in front of the congregation and say he has testimony. You have to listen to him. Hear what he has to say and agree with him that he must have to stick to that testimony. So my people, this is what I have to say today, that we must have to open our eyes. We are in the last days. And again, it doesn't matter how anointed you are as a child of God, as a man of God, as a church. Hmm. If the devil could find his way where the son of man was having meeting with angels, tell me where he cannot enter. So my people, I want you to please give this video a like so that many people will hear what we have to say concerning this issue. Scrutinize the testifiers first then you will help yourself to avoid this kind of situations. So that is what I have to say today. What is your opinion, child of God? Let, the, let, us, let us say our opinion in the comment section below so that many other people can learn. And God Almighty will bless you. I want you to give this video a thumbs up, a like. Okay? Please do that and also share. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, please endeavor to do so and God Almighty will bless you. Thank you so much, and I'm going to see you in my next one. Please remain blessed.